This morning's matches will be four goals. This is match number one. And representing United States of America, Bubba Watson and Matt Kutcher. <laughs> representing Europe, Justin Rose and Henrik Stenson. On the tee, Matt Kutcher. Just in case you're concerned, it's Cooch they're calling, not Boo. And I lost a four ball. Justin Rose. Justin Rose's first home Ryder Cup and how he has enjoyed it. He was superb yesterday. Henrik <laughs> back in the European Ryder Cup team for the first time in six years. David Price. Yes, the uh, the line, the bunker is okay. It's not so good for Justin on the other side, although he's probably got a better line. In. It does mean that Stenson's got to come in over the front of the bunker, but he's got plenty of green to play with the flag right up at the back. It's an absolutely cracking morning. There's a very gentle breeze, not as cold as it was yesterday. Just a fresh feel. I said, watching him on the range, I'm, I'm surprised to see Rose miss that first fairway because he was absolutely flushing it on the range. Ball slightly below Stenson's feet in the bunker. Awkward too, hitting into a very low sun, sun literally only just over the horizon. Sixty left. If he makes good contact, there's, there's quite a lot of sand on the ball, it's very wet there. So it may not fly absolutely true, but if he makes good contact, he should get some grit when it hits the green. It's 
amazing that the scoring wasn't that good in the four walls yesterday. I think we'll see better scoring today, conditions that bit easier. Kucha from 144 really has to attack the flag. But the nasty swale just left if you tug it very slightly. Rose with 133 yards, must expect this to release. It's gone right down to the bottom of the rough, and it's in the, the thicker stuff. 91 front there, and the 109 here. Right. I mean, I, I see what you're saying, I have to double check it quite myself. That's it. I think he was just checking the yardage. It obviously just appeared to him a little shorter or longer, whatever. They just making sure they've got the numbers right. Well, on our star-studded GPS, all singing, all dancing, it's 133. It's got to be looking to land this short of the flag and let it release up there a bit. Bubba loves, he loves the noise. I think he'll enjoy today. I think he'll be happier with less wind. Yeah. And really, he, he owes his team a bit. Driven it 332 yards for openers. Just 100 left. Now, controlling the spin's going to be the issue for him here. He's got a bit of room behind if he wants to try and pitch it beyond and spin it back, or just more dead arm it in. He's tried just to dead arm it in, and he's fatted it. Maybe it was too quiet for him. <laughs> May well be. We saw that occasionally from a few players. Miss hitting shots. Really quite bad. I don't know whether it's to do with the cold. Let's go up to the green and Watson to try to make amends for a pretty bad second shot. Stenson literally hanging over the edge of the green, his heels below his toes, quite an awkward start. So he goes for birdie at the first. Greens are slow. Yeah, it'd be nice to know what the sim meter reading is. They're keeping it pretty much under wraps at the moment. I don't know why. Justin Rose had this for a half. Ball certainly going to move a little bit left to right. Oh, oh. And it didn't stay that on the top lip. And that's the first time in two matches Justin Rose and Henrik Stenson have been down in a match. They were up all day yesterday, both morning and afternoon. Now I think we could just see the ball there. Henrik Stenson is putting for a four here. All the others have played three much closer to the hole. Stenson went into the hazard, got his shoes and socks off and played it to here. Oh. He waited to see how 
did raise his chip was before playing his shot. And the chip wasn't quite good enough. It wasn't stone dead. He'd have been hoping to make that because Justin's putt is on the same line as Bubba Watson. In fact, he's had to move his marker out the way. But the Americans got two good chances for birdie here. Kuchera in a little bit closer. Oh, and it's going to be needed. It was a little weak, wasn't it? Just gets it to the hole from maximum 10 feet. It's going to be just Kuchera first. Put the team one up with the birdie at the first. Played a lovely chip from short right to the green. None of them found the green with their second shots. They're all a little bit timid. Apart from Stenson, they went for it and put it in the water. So, of course, very long shadows at this stage of the day. Some only just starting to climb into the sky, and he's putting right into his shadow here. A little bit more difficult. <laughs> Two very good chances, both missed by the Americans. and missing the green again. Bubba Watson with a putt to win the third. All three holes have been won so far. Yes, winning the first and the third. Fourth tee, long par three. They are playing off one of the more forward tees, so this can play about 230 yards off the, the back tee. It's just a brute of a hole. A little more playable today, though, Julian. Yeah, it's into a little bit of breeze. We've been given an official yardage of 215, and I think they're playing it more like 217. Those two yards could be very significant. Certainly, Bubba Watson's shot has come up short, going straight for the flag in the bunker, actually quite well short. He just doesn't seem to be... Either he's missed clubbing or not finding in the middle of the bat or something. Cooch has found the, the back of the green, long putt. You can use a ridge that runs across the middle of the green here. If you can just get it to work right to left off that, it's probably the best way of getting at the flag. He's just on the green. Yeah. That. That's good enough. Stenson very strong with his irons, tends to flight the ball very high, so he may feel inclined to 
go straight at this. They'd, lo they'd love to have two cracks at birdie. Pro Tracer indicating the ball flight. To drift left, and he's found that front bunker. A little bit out of sorts so far this morning, Hendrik. Not all that much green to play with. Probably a slightly easier shot for Bubba being that much closer to the green. Nobody really threatening a birdie here. The two on the green have got long birdie putts. Try and get it right up in the air. Get it to sit down quickly. Excellent bunker shot. There's a little build up of sound behind the ball, which makes it tougher to get spin. Fabulous release of the club head. Passed his hands down into the sand. Beautifully played. Yes, I'm sitting beside one of the all-time great bunker players in Tony Johnson, and Tony smiles in approval. You know it was a good one. That really was a cracker. Pat's not been given for Stenson, but he should be good for the three. I think this is a, an easier shot for Watson, holding the club face wide open. Really good. Amazing how wide open his stance was there. I mean, so far right, Clubhead. Seriously out to in. It's been going from the off. Rose. Well, be a very good putt to make. Birdie, I think if Kuchu makes this one, it's miraculous. Looks to me as it goes left to right to start with, downhill all the way, and then it might be a little bit right to left at the end. Justin Rose, second shot. And today, front right. Needs a good one, because his partner's had to lay out, as has Kucha. Both missed the fairway right and thick rough. Lovely drive from Rose. He had a perfect flat lie. Such a dangerous flag to attack over on the right-hand side. With. Has it very close on the right. Watson just standing in a little bit of a bowl, ball on an upslope, but it's only 166 yards. I think he'll probably try and move it in a bit left to right. 
draw for him. That little marshy area you see there is a, a triple SI, a site of special scientific interest. There's all sorts of uh, fairly unique plants and shrubs and birds and whatever else in there, but they have to be protected. only Saturday morning, but I think you can say Justin Rose is having a terrific Ryder Cup. Great putt by the Englishman. So, the US remain one up in that top match. Makucho has already played here on the sixth. What's trying to find quite a difficult flag towards the back over a ridge. But everything runs downhill to the left. We've had a seven iron, it's 206 yards, but well downhill, bit of breeze helping. Really, it's quite a hard flag to get to with the, the wind helping it off the right and everything sloping down to the left, flag over on the right. Straight up the hill from here, as you say, very difficult pin to go to. Stenson would be trying to hit this hard and high, get it to land as softly as possible. He has that ability more than most. in company with Baba Watson, you will be showing him the line as well. Yeah, that's not good course management, is it? You don't want to be doing that too often. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you do it on purpose, though. <laughs> no. Well, there's a chance here for America to go two up on the sixth. You're far from certain of their par yet. Baba Watson lagged his putt, so they've got the three. Matt Kuchina uphill left to right. And he's just seen Rose putting on pretty much the same line and came quite well past, missing it well on the left. So there's probably a little bit less break than there appears. Uphill left to right. And they've got two chances here, the Americans. This one would win it outright. Europe have got two quite tricky putts still for their pars. Stenson's ball slightly below his feet. Just see the ball there of Kucha going through the back edge. Lovely shot from Henry. Taking him a little while to warm up the engines, but oil seems to be flowing nicely now. Bubba, awkward starts. Ball a long way above his feet. Terrific control. In fact, four pretty good shots there. And although Kucha's off the back edge, he's still got a fine chance for a three. Oh, that's going to be a four at best for the Americans. The two birdie chances. 
Jones is coming out for Europe on the seventh. The par conceded. That was not a convincing stroke. Baba, very short backswing. Yeah, and had he hold that, it would have put a lot of pressure on the Europeans. The Americans in that top match already two up. Yeah, now they'd be very disappointed if they didn't win the hole with two stabs at it. That's ought to be a pretty straight putt for Justin. Stenson with a much more difficult putt. He will be left to right. Yeah, he's very similar to the one that Bubba missed. But of course, it was a hooking putt for Bubba and it's a fading putt for Stenson, which for the right-handers tends to be a little bit more difficult. And they knock them in at different paces, don't they? Bubba really just try to roll his in at dead pace where Stenson normally likes to knock them in with a bit of a rush. For me to left center putt. Bruce think thinks it's left centre. Yes, it does. I would have thought there's a little more to that. Well, I suppose if it's going in a pace, it's left centre, maybe. Stenson knows the importance of that because now he's contributed for the first time today, reduced the deficit to one. So, good birdie for the Europeans to make. Look at the hill behind. Erupting when that putt went in. That's woken them up. Really difficult flag to get to. Stenson first from 135 yards, downhill, downwind. Front flag tucked in by the front right bunker. That is a very tough pin location, so a very good shot there by Henrik. If you go a little bit long here, and well, it's probably only three or four yards long, and you end up in a bowl beyond the flag, on the green, but there's quite a big dip down there. Watson's got a slightly better angle. 128 yards for him. Attacking the flag. Just drifting away a bit at the end. Four very good drives, Kucher and Rose pretty much side by side. But they have different grain and it, it might just make a little difference here. Kucher, you can see the, the striped fairways is playing into the grain, whereas Rose is going to be down grain. It can just make a slight difference. If he makes good contact, he'll get plenty of spin on it, no problem with that. What you need here. Wedge in his hand, nice shallow angle of attack. Just clip the ball nicely. Nothing wrong with the contact there. Rose being that bit further right, more of that bunker is in play. So if he's going to get at the flag, he's got to be very accurate. And I'm sure he'll want to get at the flag. Close to that flag today. I mean, you've got to hit a miracle shot. He's certainly been the strong man all week.
It's funny, it, although there's much less wind today, the air temperature is quite a lot cooler. People still wearing bubble hats and anoraks and all those things and hand warmers. If anything, actually, it feels colder now than it did earlier on. This would be a great one to make, though. Stenson made his perfect. Justin was facing the crowd. And Beautiful strike. Absolutely in the middle, and doesn't he just love that? That wasn't a single fist pump, that's a two or three goes. A yeah, three liter engine, that one. This for a half, though. It's a very different story when you know you have to make it from 15 to 80 feet. Baba for the half of the hole. Just a very pretty good part that ran out of speed. So the top match now all square. Amazing how things can change around quickly with the odd chip or putt. They've moved the tee up on the ninth today. It must be 30, 35 yards further forward. So it makes the green very much in reach for even moderate mortals. As long as you find the fairway, you can drive it over the bunker on the right hand side. Trouble up the left. That will be a straightforward layout from there. That's definitely not the place to hit it. It's quite a wide for Justin. He's been driving very well so far throughout this Ryder Cup match. This nasty cold wind, which is probably a little bit stronger than it was earlier on, blowing straight off the left. So it's not difficult to let it go right. Well, it looks like the driver for Stenson. Awesome. You'd have to be surprised if one of these didn't make a four in the major championships this year. Rose and Stenson more under par than anybody else on the par five, so they know how to handle them in tough conditions. Back to Kutcher on the ninth hole. You've got to trust that line here, straight over the right end bunker. You actually do not see the fairway from that forward tee. Very good shot here. Oh, Baba on the ninth. Really well, Didn't leave much behind that one. Oh, he got a nice little kick from the rough just to get it on the fairway. It's handsome now. Justin Rose, the only one missing the fairway. 282 to the pin, there's absolutely no way. But a phenomenal lie from the look of it. He's got a string in there. Be good. Be good. Be good. Oh. <laughs> well, let, me, let me take back what I said five minutes ago. 30 seconds ago. What a shot. Well, that equals Ricky Fowler's shot 
yesterday on the 16th. Uh, Bubba trying to match one of the shots of the week so far. Justin Rose's remarkable three word, but I suspect Bubba won't be far away here either. Just an iron for the American. Yeah, that's good. Ooh, not so good now. That's a little bit unlucky. Matt Cooch's ball just by the front of the green. and he's been struggling a little bit with a back injury. Paul McGinley is keeping a very close eye on him. He may sit out this afternoon. It won't help the cold temperatures. Kucha chipping up from the front of this long ninth green. Oh, I can't believe he's putting. That's a long, long putt. He's judged it extremely well. Wow! I thought he would chip that. That's a terrific putt. Now Rose, after that magnificent second with a three wood from the rough to the right, this for an eagle three, and of course the win. No, he couldn't, could he? Oh, what a fabulous effort! Oh, that is quite a remarkable second shot that he hit then. Just trying to see what club Justin's got. I'm not absolutely certain it's going to be an eight or a nine, I would think. It's 192 yards, but wind helping and steeply downhill. Front flag, bunker just left. Very much in play. Good though. Lovely balanced swing there. He took a little bit too much off that one. He hit it very easy. It's a difficult win to judge because although they're right up on the top there, they'll feel it, but it's coming and going a bit. Just short of the green. <laughs> Beautiful line to his swing there. leading for the Americans on the 10th. Well, having watched the Europeans come up a little shy, they were given good sight as there, and Kucha taking advantage of that. Bubba, I think probably 75, 80% of the time seems to hit the fade, and that's not a bad shot here. Yeah, that's a very good shot, and he did try and cut it in. Well, it's just always a nightmare trying to predict what this man is going to do and the way he sees a shot. Feeling that Europe would need to make one of these because the chances are that America are going to make one of those for a birdie of the tenth. Rose hit a nine iron in here, just came up short. The others went for an eight iron. What a performance this is from Justin Rose. He has been absolutely superb for Europe. What a putt for Verdi.
greens absolutely immaculate. Virgin. Ball rolling beautifully to the right to left as Kuchar tries to get the half. Oh, actually went the other way at the end. Oh, great pass. Oh, look how much that means to Bubba Watson and to his captain. Oh, oh, you, you can't beat this one, and it's just terrific, isn't it? Well, it's high birdie stuff. The Europeans have just rolled in four birdies on the bounce. The USA reply they've had two in a row. The flag grid is towards the back on the 11th. I think the further up the fairway you can get, the better. It's just an iron for Justin. Yeah. Yeah. Got a tight line up the right. Yeah. Stenson on the 11th. the drive of the 11 here, but you don't want to be down that side. You're better up the left-hand side. Flag back right today. And I can look at it and a shot par four. Somebody on Twitter has just called Justin Rose the smiling assassin. Nice description. Good job. A hover of the club head. Beautiful sunny morning. Sun dappling through the trees. Baba, just an iron. Going off the fairway, making his approach into the green a little bit more difficult. Rose 144 to go. You'd have to think he's laid back here because this is the length of shot that he wants to hit into the green. To get maximum control and he's almost robotic today the way he's playing. At the 11, Kutcher now in. Great match, this. These two teams are six under through ten holes. All square. But what's now that's not too bad a lie, as best in right. Stenson trying to improve on Rose's great shot, but he's got a difficult lie here. The ball's settled right down. It's only 112 yards, but he's got a landing it short of the flag, expects a release. Not much room there. For Rose, Watson's got the four. Narrowly missed his chip from the back of the green.
the standard of play today is extraordinarily high, certainly in this group anyway. With less wind to worry about, pristine greens. I don't think the pin positions have been that easy. The Americans are seven under and Rose has got this putt to be seven under for his team and remain all square. Just a hair of right to left. Depending on pace, either just outside the right or on the right edge. This is both teams seven under through 11 holes. And seven under par, better ball is only good enough to be all square. Wonderful stand of a golf. This shouldn't be a problem for Kuchu. Ball lying pretty well, he doesn't have to worry about the lip. 168 yards to flag this. Ten in from the right. Contact sounded good. Soft eight, the wind is hurting a little bit. That's a good shot from Henrik. Right in the heart of the green, that's what his partner wanted to see. He was comfortably the best drive and easily the best angle in. He can see it all there. Well, he's attacking flags if they've nothing but the flag in his sights. Well, if this was a straight play tournament after a couple of days, he would be way ahead of the field. Has played some great golf. First three rounds. Watson's got 140 the 40 yards. The ball settled down a little bit, but he can still get at it. Whether he can get it right round to the flag, I'm not sure. But with his magic, he probably can. Good Turns away and disgusting. You know, knew that was always coming up short. Played in the Ryder Cup at Valhalla back in 2008. Kuchar then for the half. He's putted really well. This would be a great one to make. Should get into the hole right. It's downhill. Yeah. Yeah. Now for the first time today, there is blue on the board for the top match. Yesterday. Excellent today. Kuchar has already played, come up short of the greens. Bubba Watson. Just to put a bit of pressure on. If you land it just over that sort of slight false front to the green. Take a big kick forward and kick on. Is it coming in from above the green downwind? He 
he's just knocking up the flags at the moment. He'll be looking to land this probably about, I don't know, th perhaps three yards short of the flag. Right to left. He did a lot of decent putt, but he never had the speed so far today. Uh, the same yesterday, just didn't quite look totally comfortable with the pace, but he's he's held a couple of goodies too. So two chances for Europe to go two up to right for Rose to start with. whether it's helping or hurting it just seems to be moving around a bit I think just mainly off the left so you can start one just left of the green and let it drift onto the flag seems to be drifting right a little bit Plenty of green to work with. Simple chip coming up. Can't tell from where I am whether this is Stenson's two wood or four wood. I imagine it's the two. He does smack it a long way. Both of them look the same. distance to go with a forward I'll have to say especially if he doesn't hook it around that feels straight in the right bunker my creature the shortest of the four in this four ball game with the driver on the 14th heading right as well I guess that would depend on the lie here yeah there's some nasty rough in there risk it coming out a little bit hot and going over the back. I guess you'd be aiming to 
get it within about what six feet. If he hits it six feet short, then that's, that's a very good shot. Not a bit fiery, but very hard to. Interesting choice of club that Rose is using here. He did this once yesterday as well. Going with the three wood just to get it out of the thicker grass, get it and literally just pop out of there onto the green and then will run. But it tends to be quite hot off the face, it's something you certainly need to have practiced. by the line, I think. Played it a little right, and that ball moved left to right. Just off the green, but putting. He would be very disappointed not to get this within two feet anyway. Greg Raw, the pressure straight back on the Europeans. Yeah, two quite tricky little putts that the Europe have to try and half the whole. The, the uh, Watson birdie has been conceded. So they're in for the three. Such a good momentum swing. The last thing I want to do now is give a hold back. T-shot, pin ping, being at the back, 41 on five left. You need to find that fairway if you want to have any chance to be close to the flag on the second shot. It's very difficult to predict with Henrik, whether he's going to hit driver or that two wood. He hits a lot of two woods. It's just how he feels about it, whether he's comfortable with the driver or not. That is the two. Yeah, thank you. It's lovely. You can use the wind to get a bit of distance here if you move it right to left. Started at that bunker on the right. It's the favoured fade for Bubba to use the wind. This might go quite a long way. That's a no-no down there. That's the one place in 15 you don't go. We saw one or two guys get fairly lucky down there. It's very patchy, but if you get unlucky, it's calf height grass. Some kind of pressure on the American team. Come on. <laughs> Urging it to get close, and how about that? 
I guess that was the right club, the right distance, the right shot. Now can Kuchar give us an answer here? Got to be aggressive. Three is a third for the Europeans. Pretty good for distance. An easy shot for Justin here. It's a practice shot, shot really. <laughs> so much high here, you can see he wanted to throw that one in the air. Yeah, it was going to land very quickly. Good execution again. Well, he's got a lie here. He could almost just chip this down there, hit a low runner. He's gone the aerial route. of hitting the fairways on this golf course. Stenson's birdie, of course, has been conceded, so... Well, the bubba's got to hold the bunker shot. I ain't in a room, excuse me. Control that to chip in from the side of the green. Well played, not good enough, though. A bit unlucky for Kuchar. I think he's he's just into the thicker grass that he can't putt this. He's going to use a utility club. Perhaps surprisingly taken the flag out. Because he's got to have a run at it. He knows that it has to go in. Then like a putt. Fantastic, yeah, that's definitely worth a bit of hand slapping. Baba <laughs> going mental. <laughs> now, what about that first shot? The way Rose is driving, the bunkers up the right hand side of the 16th are in play, albeit into now the strongest wind that we've had today. It's getting as strong as it was in yesterday morning. Well, we can see quite a lot of the ball, but is that going to be a good enough light to carry the hazard in two? Need to find the fairway here. Karen Stuffles, former lady pro who's commentating here for radio, just whispered in my ear, whatever they had for breakfast, I want some of it. I didn't want to tell her what it was they had. I want it for lunch and dinner as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 11 under plays 9 under now. Down the right hand side. It is, but perfect. Just took the bunkers out of play. You know, he can reach comfortably from there. Well played. By Stenson, really well played. Yeah, Karen Stuffles, of course, former Ladies Open champion. One of my Twitter buddies. Say hello for me, Jules. I will do. That'll get her excited. <laughs> Side. Soft fade for Kutcher here. He might just be a fraction too far though. The second shot plays a fraction into the wind. And not be able to reach now. It's not the case for this man. And you need a fade, fly over the bunkers. Now, what a difference that slight shift in the wind has made on the 16 yesterday. 
Westerly wins straight across today. South Westerly into, brings the bunkers into play. Down there, we saw the, the spot. The spot is 95 yards to the green. It's into this quite stiff breeze now, though, so it's certainly not going to be much run on it coming down from the height that Stenson gets on. Oh, dear, that's not a great shot. That's got way right. Strange. He's hit some very good shots, but he's hit some pretty indifferent ones too. He's got a wood out. Has he? Well, obviously he's got a, he's got an okay lie. Yeah, he, as I say, get the club on the back of the ball, all right. It's just the grass in front that would worry him a little bit, but he's so strong. Spectators are going to be worried here. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay. It's definitely anti-water. Just don't want to make a proper mess of this. And lose to a five. Probably just going to chip it down the fairway. It gives them two good chances to wedge it in and get fours. Bubba's got 139 left for his third shot at the 16th. He can land this beyond the flag and spin it back. In fact, he could get a lot of spin on this, and the slope will help him to do that beyond the flag. Into wind. Could really rip it. Try not to put too much spin on it. Wow. Seems to be going straight left. Wanting to turn it in. And that little step here at the front of the green is going to bring the ball down. Not the easiest of the pin, really, from that distance. This is a spectator walkway here. So Matt Kutcher can elect to play from where his ball was or take a relief. Obviously, the nearest point being on this side, it could have been actually on the other side into the rough without getting closer from the hole. Where the referee is walking down there. He's had to take the nearest point of relief, which is going back. And actually probably giving him, if anything, a slightly more difficult line. It means he's coming in over the edge of the bunker. He's now got about 105 yards. I think he has to look to land this beyond the flag. Try and spin it. It's too cute in the sand. Really taking no risk here. Moses' partner is a bit in trouble, but didn't carry it far enough into the breeze. Plenty of spin with her. Well, Stenson does have a shot. He's in the hazard, but it's playable. But certainly, it's a much better chance for Europe if Justin Rose, with a good lie here where it's been trampled down, can knock it in close. His third shot. What a fantastic goal shot from Justin Rose. Stenson will be breathing a lot easier right now. Oh, my God, he's speechless. OB birdie number 10 in a row. <laughs> Just going to see if he can hold his for an eagle. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, I have to say, your third shot uh, becomes a 
a little less under pressure after your playing partner hit it within a foot. And I believe this has been considered. And yes, it has. Now it's down to the American to do something special again. To, to keep the game alive. Yeah, it could be disappearing three and two if one of these doesn't go in. Try and get some check and then let it release. Good shot, good shot. Just one chance to keep the game alive in this match. And that's it. Point for Europe. Well, I have to say, to be credit to the American side, when you're nine and done, you lose three and two. I mean, you, you, you've got to walk outside the golf course with your head being held high. There's not much you can do here. And they know it as well. Watson and Kutcher played extremely well, but they were simply overplayed.